Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about creating print on demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please do stick around. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you guys can create this design right here. This one happens to be for Autism Acceptance Month, but you can use this technique for all sorts of different designs. It just happens to be a very popular style right now, and you can utilize this style across many niches. And so if you would like to learn about this and just the simple floral technique that is just exploding right now on Etsy, go ahead and stick around. Okay, so here I am on Canvas homepage. I'm going to be designing for a t-shirt today, so we'll go ahead and hit custom size. So when I'm designing for a t-shirt, I always use 4500 by 5400 pixels, so we'll just go ahead and start with that. Now I have my blank canvas here. I do like to optimize my designs for the darker colors because darker colored t-shirts do sell the best. Um, specifically on Amazon. I know Etsy will have a lot more light colors, so I guess it depends on which platform you're going with, but I always try to optimize more for dark. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select black as my background color to design. And we are gonna go with a style that has been very popular lately, especially on Etsy, but it is more of that sort of simple flower pattern. Um, and there's a lot of different ways that I've seen people go with this. I did do one video on it um, earlier, I'm trying to even remember which one that was. I might have said teacher or mom or something. But this time we're going to do something slightly different. We're going to do a little bit of a curved text, but we're still going to incorporate some of the flowers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit T on my keyboard. And we are going to start. This one is going to be for autism. So I'm just going to go ahead and put autism right here. Autism acceptance month is April, right? So April is coming up as we're in the end of February, we've got pretty much all of March, and then it's April. So you do want to start getting anything that you would want up for autism acceptance. Um, pretty much you want to start designing for that now. So you do want to be at least a month in advance. So let's go ahead, I'm going to show you this autism design. So I've got autism here, and I'm going to do a little curve around it. And so I'm going to use another text box that we're going to curve all the way around it. And this one is going to have three words. First word is going to be accept. And then we're going to add a couple of spaces and then we're going to go understand and then support. And so it's going to be something like that. And I can try to stretch, oops, shrink it down, stretch it out. So it's all in one line there. And then what we would do with the effects would be to go to the curve and you can see how I could then curve it. And if I moved it here, you can see how that would look something like that. And so that is sort of the basic layout. Obviously, we're going to clean it up a bit, but you get the idea of how it's going to look. And there's going to be the flowers in between. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the fonts that I want. And the font that I decided to go with here after looking at several fonts was one called Bright Retro. So right here, bright retro. And I can't remember if I got this one off of Creative Fabric or, or not. I might have. There are tons of free fonts available on Creative Fabrica that you can go ahead and upload to Canva and use. Obviously, Canva also has tons of its own fonts. So sometimes you just have to spend a while looking for the best font. So this is one that I saw that I thought looked pretty good. And so I saw it something like that. Again, I'm going to go ahead make this nice and big this let's see make that a little bit bigger maybe a little smaller i'm going to get my sizes right first because what we're going to do is curve it a little bit more so let's go back to effects and i can play with the amount of curve there and so I do like something like that in terms of the curve looks pretty nice. I've got that sort of center. Don't worry about where it is in the page yet, because once the design is done, you can group everything together and then you can move it up in the page. So always just make sure you got enough space to design. Once you have enough space to design, then we can worry about centering everything and moving it up and all of that. Um, so right now we just want to make sure that our design lines up good the way we want it. 
So I have that. I have this here that I like. Something like that. In fact, I might even want this to be a little bit bigger. Something there. And that looks kind of cool. I can, of course, add spacing in here, too, if I wanted it to be bigger. But let's go with this right here. I'm going to select some colors now, too. And so I'm going to do some fun colors, and then I'm going to make the flowers match the colors that I use. So we're going to start by picking one letter at a time. So with the A, I'm going to go with something that's more on the yellowy scale. And, of course, I can play with how light or dark the yellows are. Um, then I'm going to go with something maybe a little bit more green and again I can sort of play with where I am on the greens too and I'm looking for something sort of light like that so that green looked good let me go back to my yellow I'm just gonna make the yellow a little bit lighter there something maybe more like that oh it looks better and so you can sort of see the shades I'm going with this one I was going to make sort of a pinkish color somewhere pink tan so let's go with a pinkish and something there of course i can make it a little bit more on the redder side so that looks kind of cool and then i was going somewhere here more teal and you can pick any colors you want by the way oops Something there looks nice. And then I did some sort of a blue. Which again, nice light blue there. Maybe even into a purple a little bit. And then the last one I did was sort of an orangey color. And so there you can see I've just got some different colors. And so I didn't necessarily pick any particular colors. I just wanted sort of this variety of different colors. This is pretty common from what you'll see, just sort of those random colors there. And then um, for this, I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm just going to go with that pinkish color there. Again, you can use any colors you want, but you can just sort of see the way that this is looking. And we're going to add a couple little flowers here and here. And I'm going to, you know, I might even add another space here with this one. Space and space just to give it a little bit more room. That looks pretty cool. Okay. And we're going to pick some flowers. So now we're going to go up to elements. And I'm going to go ahead and just go to simple flower. And we're going to go to graphics. And there's all sorts of simple flowers we can use. So one of the first things I'm going to do for simple flower is just pick something like this Ooh, perfect where i can change the colors and i'm going to shrink that way down and i'm going to go ahead and use that in between there we go so i'm going to go ahead we're going to shrink it down i'm going to put it in between the words here and of course i can play with the colors there i'm thinking i'm going to make the color maybe that nice yellowy color and then the center we might go with more of that orangey color Mm, that's a little light. Maybe more of the purpley color there. Ooh, that one's pretty. Okay. Oops. And so I can take that and I can put it right there. I can shrink it down even more, make sure I get it exactly the size that I want. And then once I have it pretty much the size I want and the location I want, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it. So once I have it the way I like it, I can click on that. I can hit Control D. That will duplicate that flower. And then I can bring that other flower right up over here and so you can already see the way that's looking and now we're still going to look for some cool flowers to add so when we're looking at the flowers to add just start clicking on anything that you think might look good anything that you click on will get saved to your recently used and then it'll be a little bit easier for you to go ahead and do some selections from there once you've gotten it narrowed it down a bit so for example, here's one that I kind of like, and anything where I can change the color is ideal because I do want to be able to change the colors to match here. So this one is a perfect choice. Now it'll bring up magic recommendations. Sometimes that's helpful, sometimes it's not. And so there are a few different magic recommendations here that may or may not work. So yeah, that one's letting me change the colors. That one might be a good one. And I can scroll down, see if there's anything else. 
not really loving too much on that. So we'll just keep going down. I like this one here and that one's really pretty. And it gives me more magic recommendations. So let's see if any of these look any better. I like the ones with the little flowers there. Those are really cute. Um, some of these are really awesome, but they're going to be a little wide and I need something maybe a little taller, more narrow. So as I'm looking through this, I'm just looking for what might be some of the best options. And again, I'm just clicking on anything that I think might look good and I can narrow it down, you know, from there once I get what I like. And so some of those look really cool. And you do want to have a lot of options. You want to usually have at least one flower per letter in terms of kind of what I'm selecting. So I'm usually trying to make sure I have at least one flower. So once you think you've got a good amount of options, like I said, at least one flower per letter, you can go ahead and move all of those kind of just off the page and then we'll go over and we'll go to our recently used where we can see them all sort of grouped together and then we can go from there in terms of picking which ones we want and trying to resize them so i can close that go to recently used and so here are all the flowers that i selected and so i want a good variety these are all good choices because they're all pretty simple they all allow me to change the color which is nice and so from here, I'm just looking for, you know, what my choices are. So I'm going to start with this one. It's nice and big. So maybe I put this one sort of right with the T there. And so that is one good option I like. Here is another one that I could use instead of this one. These are the same flowers. So again, if I'm doing the same flower type that might be a good option to really fill the space. And so there's one that's kind of good for space filling. Here is another one that kind of curves and fills the space really well. Again, we want, we don't want them necessarily overlapping, uh, but we want them to fill the space as well as possible. So that is another good option. And so I am just going to start playing with these and moving them around to where I think they may look best. And again, that may mean resizing them, moving them, sort of, you might have to cut off the stem if the stem isn't necessarily someplace where you want it. And so lots of different ways we can go here. I kind of like the way that that frames the outside, but then I feel like maybe I need a little flower here to sort of close that gap and so I can shrink this one down and even put a second one on the U here almost as though I'm going to close that gap maybe that's not going to work and so you may find that you are playing with these a little bit to, to see what looks best actually that would work right there closing that gap and so I can keep going here what else do I have that looks nice I like this one here is a nice tall one that I could use. Lots of fun tall ones. Again, I could move that over to the S, something like that. Now, don't worry that the stems are overlapping the word. We'll bring the word in front so that the stems all end up in the back in a second. And so, so far, so good there. And this one also looks nice in terms of filling the spaces. So this one's got a nice curve to it, which looks good for the outside of the circle here. And that looks cool. And so I'm liking the way that looks. Right now I've got something on every letter except for the I. I don't have anything there on the I mostly because these kind of overlap themselves quite a bit. Um, and again, you can just sort of play with the way that that looks. So if I wanted to bring that over to try to make room to put something on the eye, I could. 
It'd have to be something very small that I put on the eye, though. What do I got? That might be really small and simple. Just there, and so again, I'm still just playing around to see what, if anything, I can do that would look different or nicer. Okay, and so I mean, you can just see I'm just playing around with this and trying to find whatever I think might look best to fill the space. And that's really all I'm doing is just trying to fill this space with whatever I can that might look good. Okay, so something like that looks really nice. I've got my flowers there. It all looks good. I can go ahead and take autism now and I can move it to the front. All I have to do is hit control in my right bracket. Might have to do it several times until all of the stems are in the back and now that is perfect. So I really like the way that lined up. And really the only thing left to do now is to try to match some of my colors. And so what I've got is different colors that I can work with. So let's just start one flower at a time. I like the pink. It does match the pink here pretty well. I do want to change off some of the greens. So I'm going to change that green maybe to one of these greens so that it matches just a little bit better so I can do something like that there. And I can sort of just keep that going. So now I'm going to go with the next flower. And again, I might have to use my control and left bracket to bring certain things to the back and certain things to the fronts. And that is fine. So let's try green again here. Let's take this yellow and maybe try to make it the yellow that is in the flower. Let's get rid of the brown. Let's maybe go with the purple. And so now what I am doing is just trying to match some of these colors a little bit better to some of the colors that we already have. And so some of those are looking kind of cool there. I like that. And just one flower at a time. There we go. And so once I have kind of gone ahead and matched those colors, so pretty much all I've done is change the colors of all the flowers so that they match the colors that is already, you know, shown in the design. Now I can just group the whole thing together. So I can go ahead, left click anywhere outside the image. So go all the way over to the corner of the page, left click, hold that down drag over everything that should group it all together and you can hit group now it's just going to be one image and so now what you can do is move that anywhere around the page you want you can resize it in the page you know make it bigger make it smaller however you like and now it is ready to go so now i can just call this autism and i'll put flowers and this design's ready to go so i can go ahead and hit share download it's a transparent background png download and it is ready to go and so we can put this on t-shirts you can put it on tote bags you can you know put it on just about anything you want might look good on a pop socket because of the overall shape and so just lots of different ways we can go with this but again this is a very popular style right now with those simple flower designs and you can do this design style for just about anything that you can think of it just happens that autism acceptance month is coming up so i decided to use that as an example but i've seen this done for different professions for moms grandmas you know pretty much anything you can think of if you can come up with some um, descriptive words to go around the top you know you're you're golden so if you have any questions about this drop it in the comment section below i'll try to get back to everybody as quickly as i can uh, I hope you guys are doing well um, with your quarter one, and I do hope to see you guys again next week. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative, and we'll see you next time.